What's going on, people? It's John the Dreamer. I know it's been a long time since I've come through with some tutorials, but I'm here to say I'm back. Um, I just want to give a big shout out to everybody that's been subscribing, leaving comments. I've read some amazing things, man. It's been really nice to see that the community is receiving the content I've been making and that I've actually been helping people. It's really good to see and it gives me a good feeling. So I'm going to keep making some more videos for you guys and I hope you enjoy them. Anyway, let's get into the video at hand. Today's video is where can you find some nice free drum kits? Now, the reason I'm making this YouTube tutorial is I've had a lot of people asking me for particular drum sounds and samples that I have in my beats or in my tutorials. And they've asked me, what's this hi-hat from or what's this kick from? And off the top of my head, I've got no idea. And to be honest with you, you shouldn't really care. Like, it's cool that you're, you're like the vibe of those sort of samples, but just go out there and find similar sounding samples. Like, they're everywhere. Most of these drum kits are recycled or they have similar sounds in there. And then um, just go through a bunch of kicks and you'll find some of the stuff. You know, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't really sit down and be like, oh, I only use this kit or whatever. Aperton is so free that I can just search kick, snare, and hi-hat. And that's nine times out of 10, that's how I find the samples that I use in my beats. So what you want to focus on doing is just getting yourself some kits. Now, if you're a brand new music producer and you're using Aperton for the first time, and yes, there are a lot of samples that come with Aperton. There's a lot of samples that come with a lot of DAWs. Um, like Logic, FL, etc. But they are stock sounds, and stock sounds are sounds that come straight out of the box with Aperton. Now you can use those sounds, and in some genres you'll get away with it, but in a lot of up-to-date or current genres, you won't. Those samples won't get you anywhere close to where your favorite producers are because they're not using the stock sounds. Um, people ask me what's my favorite stuff in Aperton when it comes to sounds and samples. I just say I don't use any of it. Mainly because I'm not loyal to any door. Like I love Ableton, but if something came out tomorrow that's better, I'm switching over. In this video, you're going to learn how to get all these free samples so you can be flexible and you don't have to use stock sounds that come with Ableton or any door for that matter. First thing you want to do is head over to Google and type in drum kits Reddit. And what you'll find here is a massive community of music producers, sound designers, and a bunch of other random people that contribute drum kits to this community all the time. So people will find a bunch of sounds or make a couple of sounds or change a few sounds or whatever they're doing to process these sounds, you can find them here. And you'll see there's 163,000 members and almost 500 online, which is a lot of people. So I've been coming here for years and um, let's see what we can download today. What I usually do is have a little look through stuff and I see the comments usually the ones with the most comments have a lot of good sounds in there and people give you some advice whether you should download it or not but i found some really good sounds on stuff that has zero comments so it's kind of like just rolling the dice you know sometimes i come on here once every two to three months download about 10 kits 20 kits and then just like see if i can use them within my beats sometimes you find some gems sometimes you find some trash and when I mean trash I mean real recycled stuff like you already have five versions of that snare already and it's like, it becomes frustrating, but it's part of the game. You, how you got to see it is you didn't pay for this. So can't really complain. So I've just had a look at this kit here. It's got six comments on it. Let's check it out. What have we got? Actually really nice, clean, solid kit. Sound is usable, which is rare. So read the comments, guys. There might be some good advice here. Top quality kit. Great drum kit. So let's download it. You know, I'm sold. Let's click on this. Google Drive link. It's a zip. Right, so once you've downloaded your drum kit, it will most likely go to your downloads folder, just like anything you download from the internet. And what you can do is unzip it, just double click on it usually, and you should be able to unzip it. You have a folder like this. So this has some 808s in it. You see it's quite a few, a couple of claps, and so on. So let me give you a quick tip now. File management is everything. Nothing worse than making a really good beat, emptying your trash and, and deleting all your downloads to realize that all your drum kits that you've been downloading were in your downloads, and now you've lost all those files. Especially as these Reddit drum kit links, they don't last forever and they die quite often. What you want to do now is go into your documents and make a folder called drum kits. After that, right click, make a new folder. And I like to do it by the year. So I'm going to type in 2020. And what I usually do is any kit that I download in 2020 goes in here. 
And then over the years, you'll start collecting these drum kits and you start becoming like a little librarian. So you can know, oh, in 2020, I was using these drum kits. In 2021, I was using these. So sometimes like the sounds change within hip hop or any other genre you're making. So sometimes when you want to tap back into an older sound, you can now go into those drum kits from that year and access the samples that were being used during this time. But once we open the 2020 file, we can actually go back into our downloads and drag this new kit that we just downloaded in there. And now that's in. Okay, cool. So now we've got the 2020 folder. I've just decided I'm going to call it 2020 kits. And now the question you're probably asking me is how do I get this into Apen? Okay, so the quickest way to do it is to take 2020 kits and drag it into where it says packs and just let go. And what you see is it will load. You see a little loading section there and you'll be able to see 2020 kits comes up. Now, any drum kits you put in 2020 kits will now instantly come up over here. And now we're in Apen and we can browse through that same folder and play through some of these sounds. So you've downloaded your drum kit, you've put it into Apen, and now you can go and make music with it. What are you waiting for? Go make some tracks. This has been John the Dreamer. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll see you in the next one.